guys and welcome to the second part of my low waist guide let's start with the planning i know that planning needs a lot of time it needs time to plan for example your meal preparation or your shopping list but make sure that you invest that time if you want to live more eco-friendly the next thing is pasta as we know pasta in the supermarket is always packed so if you have the chance make sure that you go and visit a bulk shop or you can make a pasta on your own recycling is actually a good thing but on the other side it's not a goal so try to recycle as less as you can i also didn't know that only six percent of the new materials were made from recycled materials and that's really sad the next thing i want to talk about are shampoos soaps or shower gels try to buy in bulk or of course you can make everything on your own you can save a lot of money you can use the ingredients that you want and you know what's inside so it's all natural please give up everything that comes in plastic of course i'm not saying that you should throw everything away straight away try to use it and if you don't like it anymore make sure that you donate it to someone who can probably use it i don't think i need to talk a lot about straws because we know that a plastic straws is something uh, horrible I am using bamboo straws they are pretty um, light and uh, when you're on the go they are a fantastic alternative if you like to drink your drinks with straws and I also have a stainless steel straws which is um, a little bit heavier but it's um, you can clean it very easy so it's also a great one next thing is snacking so if you like to snack and you are on the go please make sure that you don't buy anything that is black that is black ugh, that is packed in plastic take your own food container or a glass jar and um, simply fill your containers or your mason jars with your favorite snacks if you like dried food or nuts i am a tea lover i am a tea lover i can drink tea if it's summer if it's winter all the time but when i found out that there is a uh, microplastics in the tea bags i was pretty shocked because my whole cupboard in my kitchen is full of teas and um, then I was uh, looking for an alternative, of course. And since we have a garden and we have a lot of plants and a lot of herbs, I decided to I decided to dry my herbs. And what I made is this sage loose leaf tea. So I am looking forward because I have never tried it before, and it smells good so i will definitely let you know how it was and if you are also a tea lover as i am make sure that you buy loose leaf tea or as i said you can dry your own tea toothpaste and toothbrushes so i use instead of plastic toothbrush i use my bamboo toothbrush and the good thing is that it is all biodegradable so thumbs up for this one and to my toothpaste um the first thing i bought on my lowest journey was or were the dam tabs i think i already mentioned that in one of my videos and um i don't know maybe it's it's working for someone it's not working for me because it has this weird taste in mouth when you try to brush your teeth so i was looking again for another alternative and i made my homemade toothpaste which was actually great but then someone recommended um, toothpaste from dr brunner's and i had to buy it just to try it how it is and um, it's also great 
Actually, I have to say, oh, I have to say that the ingredients that are inside I actually used for my homemade toothpaste. So, yeah, and it's vegan, cruelty free, and the packaging is 100% recyclable, so it's a great thing too. The utensils that you always have to have in your bag are. As I already mentioned, straws, bags, your own cutlery, your food containers, bottle, your keep cup. And when you go shopping, make sure that you always have a bag with you so you can avoid buying plastic bags. What I use for my loose what I use for my loose wedgies and for my loose fruits is this one. And I also sewed my own cotton bag, which is actually 100% cotton, so easy to wash, reusable, and it looks like this. And of course, I am so proud of me that I was um, able to make this one. The one thing I love about vinegar is that it's so versatile. You can use it for almost everything. I use it as a cleaner, I use it as a softener. If you don't like the smell, you can also add essential oils to your cleaner. Actually for me it's number one cleaner, so give it a try. The last but not least thing is a zero waste. I know that this lifestyle or this kind of a change um, does not happen overnight like I know it because we are not perfect I am not perfect and it all needs time but we should take baby steps and more often smalls all these slow steps have bigger effect than a sudden change try to lower your waist as much as possible make sure that you do not put yourself under stress and under pressure because that's not the point of the whole zero waste thing the point is that you are conscious about your actions and about your lifestyle and you only have the things that you really need and you buy only things that you really need yeah, so I think that was it. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more on this topic, make sure you read my blog. And check me on Instagram, where I am posting every single day. Don't forget to subscribe, because the next video is coming soon. Let me know, guys, what you think. What you think about my videos, and what you think about the zero waste, low waste lifestyle. I am listening <laughs> and I see you soon. Bye.